You guys ready? Let's go to Disney World. Now, normally I would go get coffee, but we're gonna start 2022 off a little bit differently and forego coffee and just head straight to Disney World. Our first park of 2022 is going to be Epcot. This was actually the only reservation available for the whole weekend. So we're gonna have to get creative with our next vlogs. Um, you'll see what I mean by tomorrow. Oh my goodness, pulling on in there. There's a lot of people already here by noon. And we're gonna start out the year by having a horrible parking spot all the way down to the right. <laughs> yeah, uh, New Year's crowds are definitely still here. Holy camoly. They only park this far when it's like gonna be a packed day. Not really surprised on how packed it's going to be today. The the you know Christmas crowds and New Year's crowds they kind of linger until uh, the first week is gone of January. So they'll be here probably from to like the fifth or the seventh. But uh, welcome back to your daily dose of Disney, everybody, and welcome to our first regular vlog that we've had in in 10 days it's um it feels great it feels great but we did miss a lot of the new year celebrations but you know it is what it is we actually still might be able to see some of the stuff that they had set up for the new year celebration in the countries i don't know how fast they take it down so as far as my plans go today i kind of want to take it easy i um don't want to be like where a lot of people are also i'm going to try to avoid the crowds as much as possible um if it's a walk-on we're going to go on a walk-on but i'm really curious to see like if like tomorrow if I'm gonna be sore after today because I haven't really walked in in like forever and I wonder how my body's gonna react um, we've been symptom free for about like five days now um, we, we hit a 10 day so in a crowded area I'll probably put my face mask on but when I'm here by myself I'll keep it off um, but that's kind of the gist of it the CDC says that I don't really have to wear a mask um, after you know the 10 days of quarantining and whatnot so I'm um, just fine following their guidelines and Let's go have a good day in Epcot, our first vlog of 2022. Well, sorry, second vlog, but first real vlog. I can definitely imagine what it was like to be here on New Year's because there's already like a herd of people just walking on in. Um, since the last time I was here, I haven't seen this. I think New Year's is like the most crowded time, even more than Christmas. Something else I do wonder, I wonder if they're gonna actually have some New Year's Day celebrations at Epcot. I don't think they will. But I do hear some music already at the front. I think it's the drummers at the front of Epcot. Still no trams running here at Epcot. It looks like the Magic Kingdom is gonna be the only ones running the trams. Have no idea when they're gonna hop on into the other parks. Holy camoly, there's a lot of people outside the front of Epcot. This is so crazy to see this. Man, I just gonna I can definitely imagine what it was like on New Year's. Okay, well, it's really not that bad, but for 12 o'clock, this is just very, very odd to see this many people piling on in. Ah, oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back, everybody. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be here. I gotta show you guys my smile. Oh. Okay, I'm honestly so excited. You have no idea. I could probably cry. I'm so excited to be back. All right, let's go on in with all these people. Pass holder entrance. My actually pass uh, expires on the 22nd, so I'm gonna have to renew that pretty darn soon. And look at this. My watch thinks I'm working out. Kyle is out of shape. That's gonna change this year. That is gonna change. Wow. We are here. I think the festival of holidays is actually over. The festival of the holidays ended on the 30th. They still have some of the banners up. Next festival, we have Festival of the Arts. January 14th is that kickoff date. Here we go, first half of the year. Here we go. You know what, I think I'm going to keep my mask on today, but welcome everybody, 2022, our first park is Epcot. Many more to come. We still have the Festival of the Arts displays also in the front of Epcot. I'm just excited to be in the park finally for the first time in forever. You guys already know that. I almost teared up coming in the park. I'm so excited to be here, guys. Oh, it's going to be a great day. It's a great day. Oh my gosh, there's so many people on my spaceship Earth. If you guys could, go ahead and uh, thumbs the video up for the first vlog at Disney this year. Let's try to get 2022 likes let's try to get exactly let's try to hit that exactly so that's over 2000 obviously i can only imagine what it looks like in magic kingdom but here's the line for a spaceship earth it's only posted a 30 minute wait so that's not too terrifying at all it's not that bad 
Oh, that breeze feels great. It's a little bit warm out today, but that breeze in this area is always a great welcome into Epcot. They even have extended queues up, you see this? Crowds, crowds, crowds. You know, we've obviously missed a lot since we haven't been covering uh, Disney content. Um, there's a lot that we did miss. Um, speaking of today, it's January 2nd when you guys see this, Typhoon Lagoon actually opens up. I'm actually not gonna be going there. I just feel comfortable not going to water park right now. I feel like, you know, I feel like it's irresponsible to go to a water park after I just had COVID because you're going in water with everybody. So we'll be there someday, um, just not the, the reopening day that they're having today. Hello, Epcot. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so good to be back. Interestingly enough, they're actually still playing um, the festival of the holidays music. Huh. Very interesting. Oh, a little update about um, the front of Guardians. They've actually, uh, they have like the front door. I think the um, the statue or the fountain, whatever is going out front has been installed. It's on track to open this year. You guys hear that? The festival of the holidays music. I'm pretty sure it ended on the 30th. Like, I'm almost positive. Ooh. Well, let's see these updates to the right where the new restaurant and Starbucks is going. They have tarps over now, not glass. So the glass are probably going to be installed. And that's why they have the tarps. Ooh, some glass is installed. I don't think you guys can see it. On a crowded day like today, I don't think Test Rack single rider line is going to be a walk-on. I'm just going to go check it to see uh, where it's at. And uh, maybe Test Rack will be our first ride of 2022. I almost said 2021 there. Must have been a busy morning this morning. They have the extended queue out here set up. Definitely was busy. This line doesn't look too terrifying, so hopefully, ooh, the single rider line is actually long. Darn it, I can see it's at the door. I think we're gonna bypass this. We'll see on the way out. I guess we'll kind of do a lap here at Epcot to see uh, if there's any changes, see if like the festivals, booths are still open. Nope, Festival Arts is the next one, but I can see that the Festival of the Holiday booth is closed. So let's go around, get some exercise, see if any of the New Year's stuff is still up and yeah, get some exercise. I need to get back in shape. Oh my gosh, they actually have some of the Festival of the Arts booths already kind of like set up here 14 days in advance. Disney just um, kind of redid this whole area. Obviously the Creation Shop is new, but this whole area is also new. Um, you can see these are the Festival of the Arts booths. I guess we'll be able to see if any of those are popping up around, but this is kind of like a festival area, dedicated area. So I think that's why these ones are up because they can freely work on here whenever they really want. Festival of the Arts. The 14th, right around the corner. Cool, I wanna see if there's anything new in the creation shop that we might have missed. Odds are we did miss something. When in doubt, ask a cast member. I guess they got the, tr the 50th anniversary train set in um, and they only got six of them. So let me see if I can find that for us. I love this mural, it's so pretty. All right, so here is the 50th anniversary train set. Don't freak out. Well, a lot of you guys are probably going to freak out on the price. It is $500 for this bad boy. $500. It's remote control Bluetooth, but uh, pretty darn steep price. That is way out of my budget. I am not going to be getting that. I know I keep saying it, but it's so good to be back in a Disney park and vlogging. Oh, it's a great start to the year. Hello. We've got these bad boys back in stock. These things fly off the shelves. I haven't seen this one as well. This is cool. Um, they're back in the creation shop. If you guys are here tomorrow, um, try to run here. These probably might be gone, but you know, these kind of are coming more frequently inside the park. I can't stop smiling, guys. I cannot stop smiling. Oh, guys, this is so much fun. Still uh, some more Festival of the Holidays displays still on up. You know, Figment, I never thought I would say this, but it is so good to see you, my guy. It is so good to see you. So, it is hot out today. I can feel my uh, throat getting a little bit parched. I don't know if it's because it's hot, if it's because I just need to drink some water, if it's because it's, you know, I'm just out of shape from COVID. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to get some water soon. But I do see some more of the Festival of the Arts booths up. It looks like all the tents are actually set on up. I wonder if they did that overnight or if they had it up for uh, yesterday. Um, no idea. 
No idea. However, the Christmas tree is gone and that is a very sad, sad sight to see. I'm like, something's missing here. I was like, oh yeah, the Christmas tree. But holy cow, they planted these flowers pretty darn quick. The horticulture team is on their game. Aw. I love Christmas at Disney. All right, you guys are gonna be the first to jump around in 2022. Are you guys excited? Yeah. I'm excited for you, okay? All right. So here are those booths that I was just talking about. We had our first jump around of 2022. That was awesome. Put a smile on my face. Um, you can still see that there are some Christmas garland up. Um, those are probably gonna be coming down within the next couple of days. I'm sure the Christmas tree at Magic Kingdom is down. If the one here at Epcot is down as well. There's the Festival of the Holidays booth closed, and we've got a rather small Festival of the Arts booth right over here. We've got a long line for food in Mexico. That is about as long as it kind of gets. It's always a long line, but not like this long. I think last time we were here at Epcot, correct me if I'm wrong guys, but I think it was we were finding the Olafs around Epcot, which you can no longer do, but I think they're still up. Yeah, I still see Olaf up there. We can't do that anymore. That's only part of the festival of the holidays. So are still outside here meeting. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> now, it's kind of not really cool to see just because I've never been to uh, Epcot on New Year's and it's always been my goal, but here in China they actually still have their uh, setup actually still on up where they have parties at basically every country. Still on up. Oh man, this seems like quite the party we missed. Man, hopefully next year we'll be able to go here on New Year's. Always miss out. I've always been sick actually, um, but one year I couldn't get in because I was a cast member and we're blocked out. Here's what we missed out on. Nice cool little dragon. I'm sure it was quite the rave. I feel like today Epcot of all the parks is probably going to be the least packed. Um, because A, the reservations were available, but like Epcot was the park to go to yesterday on New Year's Eve, just because with all the parties going on. So I think like Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom, they're all gonna be pretty darn packed. Not sure if I said it yet today, but today the first, the Magical Express is no longer anymore. It's completely gone and the replacement is here. The buses are kind of decked out like trains. Um, I don't know what it's called. I'll put a picture on the screen for you guys here, but Magical Express has been retired, sadly, and now to get to from the airport to Disney World, you do have to pay a fee. Yeah, as far as the crowds go, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not too bad, but you know, still quite a lot of people. Another Festival of the Arts booth set on up, ready to go. In Italy, we have another one, I think. These are usually where some of the Star Wars ones are, and maybe possibly the Thomas Kincaid's. I think the Star Wars ones were there last year. Oh man, FOMO is real. Here's what we missed last night. Quite the, quite the production. Wish I could have seen what it did. Boy, oh boy. Ah, filming this hurts my body. So sad. Since we've kind of been talking about Festival of the Arts, one of my favorite aspects and things and performances of Festival of the Arts is the performances of uh, the Disney on Broadway shows. This is where it's held. It's pretty amazing. Can't wait for that, for those to come on back, because that was not here last year. It's gonna be back for the first time in about two years. Christmas tree is still up in America. However, Santa has been completely taken down. This is probably the last Christmas tree I'll see inside of Disney Park. Until next year, that is. We'll see one next year. Looks like a lot of people are curing their New Year's hangover with some more drinks. <laughs> Holy cow, people are crazy. Gotta love it. Holy camoly, the line. You see this line? I've never seen the line on those stairs. This is kind of what happens when this booth is closed. This isn't a festival booth. This is where you get actually the drinks in Japan. But when this is closed, you can only get it up there. And I'm sure that's what everybody is doing. The Violet Saki and the Sunset are gonna be up over there. And that's what I'm pretty sure everybody else is doing. They could be getting something to eat, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. And some more. If I, if I remember right, this area was popping last year with lots of signatures from, from artists. That actually happens at every booth, but this area is particularly pretty darn popular. 
you know what? I have to admit it, I'm kind of getting a little tired just walking around here. Um, slowly but surely we're gonna be getting into shape here. But I'm um, a little bit winded and that never really happens. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people. Just to let you guys know as well, I did actually wash all my face masks. So they're all, all washed and uh, germ-free, hopefully. Well, we've made it to our next uh, New Year's celebration that we missed in the UK. I didn't know they actually had a celebration back there. Let's check it out. It seems like they've actually started taking down this display. There's actually not much. There's lots of lights. Lots and lots of pyro. Yeah, they're definitely in the process of taking it down. Well, I mean, obviously, but this one more than any of the other ones. There's some lights on the fence over there. Oh, we'll see it next year. You know, there's really kind of like two things we can look forward to next year for like the festival, the holidays, and obviously like the New Year's celebration. We didn't get to see candlelight this year. Um, I was going to see that with my dad, but obviously we had to cancel, so that's why we never saw it this year. Because my dad and I were going to see it together, and um, obviously we couldn't. Just had a lovely conversation with a couple of you guys, and I totally missed that. That was, that was awesome. They were from Boston. Uh, you'll, you'll see them and jump around, but that was, that was missed. And I'm glad I've been having some nice conversations with a couple of you guys here on the park today. For the record, I did come back, and the line is still exactly where it is. It's about a 30-minute wait. I'm gonna forego it. Ah, oh, the monorail. We've seen this like a million times today. Hey, you beaut. We'll get on our first ride of 2022 tomorrow. I don't really want to overdo it today. Um, it's really hot out and I'm wearing a mask. And obviously it's our first day back in the park, so um, I don't really want to push my limit. Oh, my hair looks weird today. I think most of you guys will understand. I think you'll understand. It's just a ride, we'll be, but we'll be back soon. In fact, we'll be back tomorrow. But um, I do have Epcot tomorrow. I'm gonna try to, well, I'm definitely gonna park hop somewhere. Um, that's gonna be after two as well. Well, uh, with that, everybody, that is our first real vlog of 2021, or 2022. Oh my God, why did I say that? Why did I say that? 2021 was a great year. Now let's go get 2022 together. It's gonna be a great year. Let's make it a great year. Do those New Year's resolutions, stick to them. It's gonna be a good one. I'm actually gonna go work out right now. If that is my New Year's resolution, healthy, travel, and um, be happy. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and that was it for your daily dose of Disney. We're back. We're back here tomorrow. I'm thinking Hollywood Studios, if we can get in there. If not, we'll probably go to Animal Kingdom because there actually are some updates, believe it or not, at Animal Kingdom. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around, jump up, jump up and get down, jump, jump. Bonus clip, now that I'm back here in my car, um, my legs are, are pretty darn tired and I'm kind of fatigued. It didn't make it any better that I had to wear a mask in like 87 degree weather, but we'll see how sore I am tomorrow. I'm kind of curious about that, but I'll see you guys tomorrow.